Self-building your home. Why and how? Self-building means creating your own home by yourself through various methods. And it doesn't mean that you have to build your own home with your own two hands. You can literally hire everybody to do the job and just manage the process. You can start from hiring an architect and ending with a landscaping. Self-building uh, versus buying the house from open market uh, gives you lots of options. First to create the home according to your own needs and wishes, also to save money. For many people, self-building is not just a way of saving money or it's not a rational decision, but uh, I think many men have the dream to provide their home to their families which is built by themselves and well you don't have to build everything you can hire help but you can be part of the process and uh, really get it done and have a piece of you in the house you provide for your family self-building it is a growing trend around the world because the land prices are rising the building costs are rising so self-building is for many people it is the only option before starting a self-build, you should really check the local legislation because some areas have specific laws concerning self-building and some areas have tax reductions if you do a, a self-build. So it, it, it's really different depending on country and region. And kit homes are very, very good option for self-builders because House kits, they usually have exactly the right amount of materials, so you don't pay for excess materials and uh, they're faster to install on site. They are properly engineered versus just built on site and uh, they are manufactured in the factories in the dry conditions. Um, they, as said, they get up really fast, so you save on the building halts because of the weather or holidays. The self-building can also bring you some trouble if you don't think everything through properly. I'd say that the, most of the times when people get into trouble is they forget about some important questions. They don't think about it. And when it pops up like uh, you know, the heating system, the house is ready and now they start to think about heating system and the floors are done. You can't put the underfloor heating, just slide it under the floor somehow. It has to be done during construction. So creating um, a list of questions, timelines, budgets, that's really important. And you can hire some help to do that, but uh, you have to be involved. If you don't know how to do something like plumbing or hire a professional and don't do it from a phone book, ask for references. That's the best advice I can give you. We do have some videos about budgeting and creating this vision about the building process. And we also have a list of 100 questions. You'll find the link in the description. Self-building is gaining popularity and with a reason. There is a lot to gain through self-building and uh, like personalized own home. More you do by yourself, more money you save and you will also have more you in the house. If you're planning to self-build, do your prep work properly. And if you feel that you're not ready, don't start. Take your time. Building a house is a serious thing and it's not something, some hobby handcraft that if it didn't turn out, you'll throw it away and start over. No, can't do that. I've self-built two homes for myself and uh, can't say it's really fun because uh, it's like a second job, but it's rewarding in the end, really.